Hey Floss Pass 2, welcome to my January 2019 update. Um, this is my 13th video, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrated. I feel like my other video was so long ago, so I want to give everyone those happy wishes. Hope your holidays were, were good. Mine were great. I spent Christmas on a cruise ship, which was really amazing with my boyfriend. It seems like it was so long ago and we're back to missing each other all the time. But anywho, that'll come in future life updates as, you know, we're probably going to like move soon, which is crazy when I think about it. I probably will be moving in the summer, which is not that far away. Anywho, other life update. Work is still crazy. <sighs> My students are just, this is just a different year. They're just crazy. Um, lots of progress support writing now, not so much stitching time. I have gotten really big into using my sewing machine and we'll talk about that later. Other than that, life updates are like, eh, still going to bed early, still trying to reach fitness goals and lose weight and all that stuff. I feel like my life is, is not that interesting. If you ever want to know more, feel free to ask and I will gladly tell more. I just don't feel like anything is worth telling about. That's really it though. But let's just get into the stitchy and the fun stuff. I have, and I talked about it in my last video, and I did mention a little bit of how I was using my sewing machine more, and I finally did a pillow finish. My first ever pillow finish. I alluded to it in my last video, but I did it. This was my, um, Tangled piece from Frigid Stitch, who no longer has an Etsy store. And I finished it as a pillow. Did I use a tutorial? I used some website, I forget whose it was, that just showed how to do this. And then basically do this part, which <laughs> it has a lot of these dots from my heated blanket and I should have checked for them beforehand. Of course I didn't. And then there's tons of cat hair, but whatever. This is just some fabric that I got from a local knitting and crochet yarn shop, I guess, by my job. I really love how this came out. I could not believe that I actually did this. When I finished it, I was just like, guys, I have zero sewing machine skills, zero. I've never taken a class. I struggle with making straight lines and I was just so glad. My hand sewing needs some help. But I think I might do what I've seen others do, like McKenna, is you just cut like a little hole and then you put like a little, or Carrie also, put like a little hole and then you put like a little piece of felt on it and then you don't have to worry about ugly sewing and then it kind of just has like a little cute butt thing going on. But I really love this. This is like one of my favorite things. I am in my new start making a sister piece to this one and I'll show you guys later. Anywho. That's an FFO, I have no others. Do I? No, I don't have any others, but I do have an FO. I finished, it's here somewhere, my Alolan Raichu by, did I not take it out? Oh, if I didn't, sorry for all the rustling. Okay, so lots of rustling time. Um, I finished an Alolan Raichu by Charlie Minion. I don't know if she's Charlie Minion anymore oh she should still be on etsy as charlie minion but she is now twitch charlie on instagram and i think just charlie on twitch and twitter and this is her pattern i found it sorry for all the rustling so many apologies but that's how i store my fo's guys they're just in just in a bag of shame this was on some 14 count Ida that I hand dyed myself and I just use DMC threads. I'm hoping to get a new phone soon and hopefully that'll help with recording. But I should also try to use my stuff that I use for when I stream on Twitch because I do have a really nice webcam. But I just, it's not, it's not set up ideal for this. Like it'd be hard to turn it around to face me. And my computer would probably blow up if I tried to use it for that. That's it. That's just a cute little guy small finish. Whips, as I said, not so many. Um, I just didn't have as much stitchy time as I wanted to. One of my rotations took me two weeks on the dark world and I only do a five day rotation. 
haven't been doing much. Focus Friday, Friday has still been Potato Friday. Get home from work, maybe nap, have a cheat meal, and then be a potato the rest of the evening. Um, but this year, I counted last year, and I may have had something like 30 page finishes, like including, you know, smalls and stuff like that. And I decided for this year, I want to count my page finishes on my BAPs, my big ass projects. Because those matter. Like some of them are 80 by 90 or, and they're full coverage. And that counts as like a finished project in my opinion. And I want to put that in per perspective when I think about, you know, how many finishes I had last year. Um, I might make a little slideshow later and upload it of my 2019 finishes. There weren't that many. It would take me a long time to dig through my camera and find them all. I'm super disorganized. I want to be better about that this year. But I did have two page finishes this year so far, and they're both for my Bob Ross Stitch Along. And then I did have one finish on Alolan Raichu. So three page finishes for January so far. I'm trying to keep track of those so that I can see that even if I don't have an FO, I am making progress elsewhere. So anywho, first uh, whip that I want to talk about is my Fall Cottage. So this is from, sorry for more rustling. I thought I was prepared. It's like I have my notes and all that stuff. But it's from this book, Seasonal Cottages, from Herchner's that I picked up in Hobby Lobby or something like that. And the fall solstice has, autumn solstice has finished, but this is what it'll look like when it's finished. And I might have a progress picture of what it looked like the last time. And then this is where it ended up being. And I really love it. I love, love, love working on this. This is a piece of 14 count Ida that I hand dyed myself. A two over one and all the called for DMC colors. Oh no, not two over one. Sorry, I'm doing three over one on this. The lighting in my apartment this morning is really terrible. Maybe if I told it. Love, love the tree, love everything. So since we started winter, that will be in my new start. And we'll see what that looks like in a minute. My other whip, only two whips this month, well, not counting new starts, is my Dark World piece from Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And this is what it'll look like when it's finished. This is what it'll look like the, look like the last time you saw it. And this is a massive piece. I don't think I'm ever going to finish this, but you know. And this is on 18 count white Ida, two over one. And that's where I am. And that's where I just finished this rotation yesterday. So close to a page finish on here. So the page will finish like right along these two columns here. I didn't work on it evenly evenly with the rest of the page because of the hoop I was using and I had to move it over. So I did start the second page over here just a little bit. Those clouds, I've already used an entire skein of 613 on the clouds. Intense. Um, this pattern I got on Etsy from Box Cat Shop. I don't believe they're around anymore. I think people have been reporting people who are making patterns like that and I'm not going to get into that right now. I, I understand a lot of that kind of stuff, but there are also people who are thieves of joy. Anywho, <clears throat> don't want to get into that. New starts. Uh, Winter Cottage. So again, Winter Cottage is from Seasonal Cottages. This is what it'll look like. I started this in this month, actually, because I could not start it for the winter solstice because I was away. This is what it'll look like when it's finished. And I will work on this piece until spring. There's no pic of what it looked like the last time I saw it. And it's currently in a hoop. I know it's terrible. I'm not going to, to show it. I'm not going to take it out because, yeah, sorry. Sorry. But it's just the sun at the top. And this is another piece of blue 14 count while it was white. Ida that I hand dyed myself, and that's my start on it. Liking it so far, as always. I love these pieces. They're really cute. They're easy to work on. This is three over one. I'm really liking four, um, three strands on 14 count when it's not full coverage. 
I like the coverage on it. And that's that one. I did have another new start. I am participating. Actually, I organized a Smalls Exchange in Pixel Stitch, which is my Twitch stream team that I am a part of. And we had a lot of people who signed up, which was really exciting. And so the person that I'm stitching for is interested in D&D. &D. They probably don't watch my fossu, which is fine. I mean, there's a lot of people who said they were interested in D&D, &D, so that's not really, you know, narrowing it down or anything like that. I'm using a piece of 14 count Ida that I hand dyed myself. It's like a purpley pinkish. Um, I might be able to insert what it'll look like when it's finished. It's just, um, actually looks like perler art which perler art um, um, converts easily into cross-stitch patterns. You just color match yourself. That um, Slub Lover's stitches? I always get... Candace! I always get her other her username wrong. But Boo Boo Kitty. Link to me from Pinterest. Since I don't know much about D&D, &D, I also asked my boyfriend about it. He's into D&D. &D. And I was like, oh, which one would you do? And he picked this one. So... Here's my start on it. It's still in my Q-snap. I still cannot love Q-snaps, guys. This time I'm trying the stitch in the ditch with it. I just don't like the way excess fabric is stored on Q-snaps. Yeah. Anywho, I am finally trying out silks. So the red here is a Dinky Dyes red silk, which I can show you what it looks like. I put it just in this little bag. Um, these were silks that I got from like the ones on Etsy that they're, I guess they're odds and ends. And the color of this one is Heartthrob. It's really beautiful. I've never used silks before. I feel like I might be spoiled in my first ever adventure into fancy floss. There you go. It's not really variegated. It's pretty. Sorry that I'm not taking it out of the plastic and just, you know, that's me. Lazy. Anywho, loving it. Um, for the black, just regular DMC black, I'm going to fill in the D20 with this other Dinky Dyes color. And Bo Bolia. Which this is a variegated, very, 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 very pretty purple color. It's not really showing. Oh, that might be pretty accurate. Super duper pretty. I'm excited for it. So far, it's been a quick stitch. Don't know if I mentioned that I dyed the fabric myself. 14 count, three. No, two. I'm doing two over one because I'm nervous that I won't have enough color because they're just little sample sizes of that. Yeah. Now, the sister piece to my tangled pillow so here's my tangled pillow again i am doing the bell version from frigid stitch and this is what it'll look like when it's finished i'll try to insert um jpeg of it and i had a poll going on my instagram for what fabric i should use i did a floss toss i'm still unsure about it and i'm not crazy about 28 count stitching over two only because i've never done it before um and so it, it's really hard for me it's taking me a long time but this is a 28 count cashel in Smoky Pearl that I got at Dixie Darling when I went to Tennessee with my boyfriend. And this is just my little start. I put in maybe one or two strands. It's a really beautiful fabric. And I'm using the called for colors. I'm not, I haven't decided yet if I wanna add some Cranic in. I did, I did add some Cranic on the Tangled piece that wasn't originally called for in her in her hair, in Rapunzel's hair. And I'm wondering if I should do something similar for Belle's dress or just do the rose in Cranic. I don't know. I want to try to figure out a way to just spruce it up just a little bit. And those were my new starts. That's it. Uh, I am still working on the Bob Ross Stitch Along, which is sort of a mystery sal. That was being released every two weeks by 8-Bit Stitch K Warning on Etsy and on Instagram. We've moved to every three weeks because it is a massive piece that gets released. It's about, let me see, I'll check one of the pages I just finished. 
it's easily a 50 by 50 each release full coverage so it can be a lot especially if you're doing full crosses i'm not doing full crosses i'm just lazy um not gonna take it out of the hoop but this is where i am so far maybe i'll be able to unravel this this is on a, a piece of 32 count which is my first time ever stitching on 32 count i'm doing two over one half stitching this entire blue blob is a happy little accident it was supposed to be this color and I completely misread it the wrong way. So I agonized. I was very upset for a long time. Wasn't sure what I was going to do. Was I going to frog it? Start over? And then, you know, like Bob Ross would say, just a happy little accident. Mine is not so little, but I'll try to roll with it and see how it ends up looking. I try to do two squares on this a day just to keep up. Sometimes it is the only thing I stitch on all day, which also kind of stinks a little bit, but I really don't want to fall behind on this sal this year, like I did last year with my class schedule sal that's now just a regular whip. I haven't joined any other sals. I kind of want to join one that's not a year long. If you have any suggestions, I'm willing to jump in on anyone that hasn't started in January, because if I have to catch up, I don't want to catch up. So if you know of any that are starting soon, I would be interested. I do want to pick up one more sow. I guess I should move into plans. I did on my Instagram post a whole bunch of um, charts and stuff that I added into my want to stitch. I don't really make plans when I do decide on a new project. I sometimes just make a poll on um, straw poll. I put it on my discord. I post it on Twitter and you know people just vote on what I should start. Typically I follow that. And sometimes I just start whatever I feel like starting that day. So I don't really like plans. I mean, I do have a list of things that I want to start soon. Like, I do want to start a Hade. I really still love Hatsune Miku. And I have this image of her on my computer that I've had for a while that I think I'm just going to convert into a pattern and fly with it. So it'll be another BAP. Those are my only plans, really. Is to eventually start a Hade. I own two. I don't know which one I'll start. Um... And I try to keep myself to 10 whips, not including salves. So um, I have my 10 whips already, and that's it. And I try to replace a whip when one is finished. I think that's typically what I do. Because if I have more than that, storage is really hard for me right now. Maybe when I move, <laughs> my boyfriend's going to kill me. I'll have more whips and more starts, but because then I'll have space for all of my stitchy stuff. And I got into quilting and sewing, so that's its own thing. Haul? I have, like, no haul. I have my fabric of the month from Color and Cotton. Sorry for the crinkle. This is Cornflower Blue. It's a Belfast 32 count, and I get an eighth of a yard. Beautiful as always. I love it. Love, 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 love this. I might switch, if this is my sixth one, I don't know when it is, I'm going to switch into the Ida so that I can have a variety, because I do like working on Ida still. But that's all for haul. I did buy some fabric for my quilting adventures, and I don't think you guys are interested in that. If you are, let me know. I, I just feel like the video get really long, and I try to keep them less than a half hour. I am kind of caught up on floss tube. So... First, apologies first, I did have to delete everything that I fell behind on on the summer. So I'm super sorry about that, but I am caught up on everyone's recent videos and have been commenting. It just became, my watch later was like a hundred, over a hundred videos. And I'm also into keto podcast and this one about homestead and farming, weirdly enough, that my boyfriend got me into. And there's just too much to watch sometimes, so I'm sorry. I do watch a lot of people on 1.5 speed. If you make a video over an hour, I watch it on two, and it is hilarious. Anywho, I have some hand dyes that I did myself. So I needed another, I needed another two pieces of fabric for my seasonal cottages. So you saw my winter cottage piece already. This will be the blue for my spring cottage. 14 count Ida that I hand dyed myself. Woo! They're not color fast, which makes me a little bit sad because I do like to wash my pieces after I finish them. But I don't know how to make something color fast. Anywho. And this was just like, I had this 
left over and I just threw some colors on it. My mom thinks it's ugly. I like it. After it dried and I ironed it, it really came out to be something different. So it's just like an awkward piece of fabric and I was like, let's just toss it in, dye it with some purples and yellow, see how it comes out. I like it. Might be good for something for Halloween. I like it. What is? What is, mom? <laughs> My mom still hasn't stitched on anything hand dyed, so or anything above eighteen count, which is fine. But don't stomp on my bubbles. Knitting. I did have some knitting finishes, guys. And some knitting progress. Sorry if you're not into knitting or anything else that I'm going to show. That was my cross-stitch stuff. Sorry, that was all for stitching. Anywho, I did bandana cow. This is knitted in who, um, Quarry by Brooklyn Tweed in their bulky. It's a wool. It's beautiful. It has like some, I didn't realize that they were basing um, their color line based on actual rocks. So I probably will get more of this stuff. Bought at a local LNS by my job, Brooklyn General. Love it. It has been super duper warm for these cold New York days. Love, love, love it. Makes me look like ninja. I love it. I haven't washed it yet. I just wore it. I'm like, whatever. I don't need to wash it right now. My rainbow blankie. This is a um, crochet piece. Rainbow blankie. Uh, the pattern you can find on Ravelry. Same for a bandana cowl. And this is the modern rainbow blanket. You can also find it on Ravelry. It uses Karen cakes. The only thing with it, guys, is that a lot of the Karen cakes in the pattern are now discontinued. So you might have to use new Karen cakes. So this is where I currently am. Well, this was the beginning. I forget. It was um, pumpkin spice, cinnamon swirl. Forget the colors. I added on pistachio fudge. And now it's blueberry shortcake that I added on down here. The blanket is massive. I might... I saw I have PJ pants on, so whatevs. But it's even bigger than that. It opens up all the way. Huge, huge, huge. I love it. Love, love, love this. I try to limit my crochet due to my tendonitis. So I would be further along. But I'm trying to get at least one cake in a month on it. That would be great. Love this so much. The pattern is easy. It's good. It's mindless for if you're watching TV or something. It's great for that. Love that. That was all of my knitting and crochet. I do want to start another pair of socks soon. I'm struggling with these little moths, guys. And if you have any suggestions, it'd be great. But they're eating my wools. And they need to stop. And I don't know how to get rid of them. I tried freezing my yarn. I can't keep them away. I tried the cedar. I try to keep any new wool that I buy in a Ziploc bag, but it seems like they've already taken over. I've had them for years. I think I bought a bad skein of yarn in college that may have had um, some eggs or whatever. And then, I, of course, I brought it home and it hatched into my stash. I want them to go away. They're eating some of my hand knitted socks. I mean, some of them are old, so you know I could make, I should make, be making new ones, but it stinks. Socks, you know, take a long time, and I like them all. Anywho, sewing. I almost forgot, and I did show it. So, you know, I after I did my tangled pillow, I was like, I can do this. So I went back to Calico. If you guys don't follow her on YouTube, she's amazing. She made a bag tutorial, how to make your own project bag with a see-through vinyl front. And I was like, I think I can do this. I struggled a lot, guys. It took me like six hours cutting vinyl. I do not wish on my worst enemy. So this was my old project bag, you know, super duper fancy. Hello, cat. 
and I made one. I made two actually. One I sent to my Secret Santa on a Discord, but I made a project bag, guys. I didn't get the right interfacing in the mail for some reason, so it's, you know, really floppy, but I don't mind it because I put it in my backpack and stuff and it folds better. And again, some fabric that I got at Perfume General. This was um, fabric that I got at Hobby Lobby, I think. It was just a fat quarter. It's not exactly square, but I don't care. I love it. It's mine. I made it, and I finally have a bag for my projects. And it really wasn't that hard at all, guys. So if you have a sewing machine that you haven't used and you want to use it, you can totally do it. If I did it, you can do it. I struggle with math. I struggle with numbers, measuring, all that stuff, and I did it. I think that's all I have to say about that. Then that opened up like a Pandora's box of wanting to do other stuff with my sewing machine. I started quilting. So <laughs> I'm following Melanie Hams. She's on um, Instagram and YouTube as Melanie Ham or Melanie K Ham. I'll link everything down below if I can. Um, she has a five part quilting class and she does each step with you. Piecing and the pinning of it, the basting, the measuring your binding, the backing fabric, all of that, she does it with you. So I bought me a charm pack. And I bought me some fabric. And I love it so far. I've only done the um, vertical quilting on it. And the charm pack I just got on Amazon. But, and this will just be a lap quilt. And to people who do quilts for like an entire bed, even twin size, queen size, props to you. This is labor intensive and this is only going to be a lap quilt. But that is where I am so far. I have a lot of extra batting I know on the side, a lot of extra fabric. I really did not feel like putting it down. I'm not going to use it for anything else. I will, of course, save the scraps. But I learned so much about my sewing machine in the past month, guys. I've learned all about bobbins and tension and breaking needles and how to put a new needle on. I really learned a bunch about different feet, how to use a zipper foot, how to use, I even got a piecing foot, foot. I got a quilting foot. I've learned so much. It's been awesome. Whew. That's about it. Reading, I have not finished a book since beginning of December. My reading bug is not there. I mainly read on the train to work. Haven't been doing much reading. Video gaming, still playing uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Go. And Pokemon Pinball actually has been my obsession. That's about it. That really is it. I'm going to look around and make sure I didn't forget anything, but that's really it. Anywho, we did a giveaway for a Pikachu needle minder, which I have to do some repairs on a few of my needle minders. I don't know what's happening, guys, but the magnets are all falling off the backs of them, which it happened to Pikachu, which is sad because that's one that I purchased from someone on Etsy. I cannot find it in here right now. But... I mean, it's another, it's just a duplicate of this one that I have and only one person asks for it and they're getting it. Link is my homeboy. Congrats. I still haven't sent you Evie. Evie is still here. So I'm just going to send them both together because you won Evie last time. So congrats on the Pikachu needle minder giveaway for this month. I've been going through my, um, cross stitch crazy stash and freebies. And I'm putting this guy up. It's a full kit. <clears throat> Festive penguin card kit. If you like penguins, if you're super into winter like I am and love it. Comes with everything you need. The pattern, the aperture card, floss. Get on this. If you would like to have this, just say I would like to stitch the penguin. And I'll enter you in. Now that I see that, I had some more finishes, but whether I find them right now, guys, oh, I found them. So I decided for Christmas this year to do a lot of handmade tags. 
And what better than to find that Cross Edge Crazy had sent me these guys as a full kit. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do these guys. I actually, you know, that's probably also why I don't have a lot of whips. I, you know, these are small, but you know, they have back stitching, whatever. It was funny. I thought they were reindeer. And then I'm like, what are those legs? And then I'm like, oh, they're birds. I made them. I only have a few left here to show. Bad thing about stitching these is after I was done, I looked at them and I was like, I don't want to give these away because <laughs> they're so cute. And I also didn't want to give them away because I was like, what if I give them to somebody and then they're like, oh, thank you for the gift. And then they take, you know, they just think this is just a tag and they, they throw it away. <laughs> Thinking of somebody throwing one of these guys away made me not want to give them away at all to anyone. So I was really selective on who I gave um, these tags to. And the people I gave them to, I was like, if you don't want it, give it back. Because <laughs> I didn't even write anything on the backs. I was like, that's a tag for you. If you don't want it, I'll take it back. And they were like, no, 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 I love it. Um, my brother's wife put it on her Christmas tree. I'm really super happy about. Um, yeah, I grew really attached to those for like the week and a half that I spent stitching them. So I might not do that again next year because it was really hard to give them away. Anywho, this is getting longer than it should be and I'm rambling a lot. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. If you ever want to hang out with me while I stitch live, I do stream live on twitch.tv at Jenna X Stitches. I do try to post when I go live on my Instagram. Usually on Sundays, I'm doing this once a week thing. I used to be twice a week. Wasn't working. Anywho, thank you for all my new subscribers. Welcome and anyone who's returning. Thank you. Guys. Get to stitch in as 2019. I am loving seeing everyone's new starts. I love like the start apocalypse that happened that everyone was doing and starting all this new stuff and then they're, they're doing no new starts 2019. I am not participating in any of that. No stitch from stash. No new no new starts 2019. I cannot commit to that. Anywho, good luck to those who are, and happy stitching. Bye.